Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given that for a one NMOS transistor, when it is operating in the saturation region, then its transconductance is equal to GM. Now in the different scenarios, for the same NMOS transistor, by varying one of the MOSFET parameters, its new transconductance is measured. So here, we have been asked to find the relationship between the new transconductance and the old transconductance. So if you have followed the previous video on the main channel, then we have seen that the transconductance depends on the three different parameters. That is W by L ratio, this VGS minus VT and the drain current. So depending on which parameter is kept constant, the relation of this transconductance with these parameters will change. For example, from this second expression, when this drain current ID is kept constant, then this transconductance GM is proportional to square root of W by L. Similarly, when this W by L ratio is kept fixed, then this transconductance GM is proportional to square root of ID. So depending on which parameter is kept fixed, the relationship of this transconductance with these parameters will change. Similarly, if you see this third expression, then whenever this VGS minus VT is kept fixed, then this transconductance GM is linearly proportional to this drain current. On the other end, when this drain current ID is kept fixed, then this transconductance GM is inversely proportional to VGS minus VT. So depending on the given parameters, we can use any of these three expressions. So in the first case, the W by L ratio of the MOSFET is doubled while the drain current ID is kept fixed. So in this case, we can use the expression of transconductance that is square root of 2 times mu n times cox times w divided by l times id. So whenever this w by l ratio is doubled, then this w by l dash is equal to 2 times w divided by l. And let's say in that case, the transconductance is equal to gm2. So in this case, the gm2 can be given as square root of 2 times square root of 2 times mu n times cox times w divided by l times id. That means gm2 is equal to root 2 times gm. That is equal to 1.414 times gm. That means whenever this w by l ratio is doubled and the drain current id is kept fixed, then the new transconductance will be equal to 1.41 times gm. Similarly, in the second case, this VGS minus VT is doubled while the drain current ID is kept fixed. So for this case, we can use the expression of gm that is 2ID divided by VGS minus VT. So whenever this VGS minus VT is doubled, then let's say the new transconductance is equal to gm2. So this gm2 will be equal to 2 times id divided by 2 times vgs minus vt that is equal to 1 by 2 times gm or we can say that this gm2 is equal to 0.5 times gm. So similarly let us see the third case. So in the third case the strain current id is reduced by 50% but the w by l ratio is kept fixed. So in this case, once again, we can use the expression of GM that is equal to square root of 2 times mu n times cox times w divided by l times id. So in this case, the new drain current id dash is equal to id divided by 2. And let's say in this case, the new transconductance is equal to GM3. So this GM3 will be equal to square root of 2 times mu n times cox times w divided by l times id times 1 divided by root 2. That means gm3 is equal to gm divided by root 2. That is equal to 0 0.707 times gm. So similarly, let us see the fourth case. So in the fourth case, this id is doubled but the VGS minus VT is kept fixed. So in this case, 
we can use the expression of gm that is equal to 2 times id divided by vgs minus vt so in this case as the vgs minus vt is kept fixed so this gm is proportional to drain current and whenever the strain current id is doubled then we can say that this id dash is equal to 2 times id and let's say the new transconductance is equal to gm4 so this new transconductance will be equal to 2 times 2 times id divided by vgs minus vt that is equal to 2 times gm so in this way in the first case when the w by l ratio is doubled then this gm1 is equal to 1.4 times gm while in the second case when the vgs minus vt is doubled and the id is kept fixed then this gm2 is equal to 0.5 times gm similarly in the third case when the id is reduced by 50 percent then this gm3 is equal to 0.707 times gm while in the fourth case when the id is doubled then this gm4 is equal to 2 times gm so from this we can say that for the given question this c is the correct answer